Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, I just wanted to show you the dried result to this. I, you know, I wasn't crazy about the colors at first because my magenta only came up like right there. Well, here too, but um, I really love it now. And let me tell you that carbon black is so black and it's very matte and it's really cool against these, um, these colors and these pigments. It's hard, might be hard to see uh, some of the sh shimmer glimmer, but I'm really, I actually happier with that than I thought I would be. I am going to be doing a big painting tomorrow. So I'm going to be practicing today <laughs> and I have a lot of color art pigments and one, um, TLP pigment and, and we have a couple of tube paints or fluid paints. This is Color Art Azure. Really pretty color. I think I added a squirt of um, golden turquoise, phthalo turquoise in there. This is TLP. Oh, I have to make some more. This is TLP or my favorite. This is Golden Monarch by Color Art. Very pretty color. This is uh, Mermaid Scales by Color Art. This is Golden Teal. This is Teal Zircon by Color Art. This is Golden Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold. I have little bits of paint tonight, so I don't want to go overboard. I'm not sure which one this is, but I am going to look it up and put it in the description. Um, this is a combination of Atelier Blue Black and Prussian Blue. And this is Modern Masters in Iridescent Pearl. I put a, just a squirt of um, Interference Blue from Golden in here too. So I'm thinking I'm going to use all these colors. Maybe not. I'm not sure. So, oh, geez, these. What happened here? There we go. Hi, Ice. He's always here, right, right when I'm ready to, ready to um, pour. Now, I wanted. I did some test tiles yep, yesterday. Oh, my Lanta. What a klutz. I did some test tiles yesterday, and I was testing out the pearl mix. And I call these monster cells. This is when your paint is too thin. Um, you get these kind of really weird looking ick. And so I did tighten it up a little bit with some, put some more artist loft in and this was getting better, but I still didn't quite like this. That's what it looks like when it's too thin. And that is delicious. I love this one. It's absolutely beautiful. So if you need, if you find that your um, your pearl mix is kind of like a monster cell, what you want to do is just add some more Artist Loft and Apple Apple Barrel, or you could add some Liquitex Basics in um, Titanium White. And I think I did do that for this because I because I'm going on a big canvas. I don't want the pearls to pop up real quick. And that was a pieces of Terra. pieces of Terra um, tip. So I have, this is a 16 by 20. I have taped, sprayed, and put down some Artist Loft on the corners and edges. I'm just pouring some paint down, or putting some pearl mix down. It looks like I need a little bit more here and here. Okay. There we go. We're still going to be doing this thin. Vertical tilt, vertical tilt, vertical tilt. So once we've tilted it all the way this way and it's gone over the edge, you want to tilt it back to the center. So go back this way. Oh, here we go. So 
so we get pearls everywhere. Is that a bubble? Yeah, that was a bubble. Okay, so. Composition. Hmm. I'm going to go with the iridescent pearl. And then the gold. You know what? I'm going to save the gold for accents. I am. I am. Then this is the Monarch, Golden Monarch. And Conacodon Nicolais of Gold. good idea to, <laughs> to just do a little bit. Now I'm going to put down this teal right next to Conacodon Nicolas Gold. It always looks good next to that color. And here comes the teal zircon. I love that color. It does really well in these, these pores. And this one was, this is the mystery one that I don't know. I'm so bad at using way too much paint. That's why I only I limited myself to, to this. And then this is the mermaid scales. All right. So I am going to move it. There's a bug. Jeez Louise. <laughs> I'm gonna move it down this way and then maybe this way first. try my big dryer because I'm gonna to have to use big dryer on the big on the big piece tomorrow so I want to see oh my gosh this is not that <laughs> that is not at all what I was looking for for the um, composition but that's okay because it really doesn't matter once we blow it that's kind of cool we don't have any more dark blue do we See how the pearls are starting already? So now I am going to, I'm gonna go corner to corner. Corner, 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 and corner. I always like to test this out before I do a big piece especially because you don't want to waste that much paint. You should see how much pearl mix I mixed up. Oh my God. It's like, I have enough for like a huge paint. As a matter of fact, I do have a huge um, canvas, but I put it in storage. So I might have to ask my friend, Timmy, to come help me get it. He has a truck. still want to get for some reason the paints tend to especially when you're blowing them out they tend to pool right here um I'm gonna let that oh, come up a bit still have some white left this is 
It's a gallon. It's a gallon of paint. A gallon of pearls. Wow, look at that. That's the Nicolazo gold coming through too. And the Monarch. So I have this big boy here. This is an Infinity Pro by Conair. I've used this for many, but we're gonna, I wanna see how it react, how it blows um, on this, on bigger pieces, because I've done it on smaller and it's kind of powerful. All right, here we go. high fan just for giggles and it seemed to have really blown it well I guess do I have any I do I have more of this stuff I just didn't put water in it yet and actually I ran out of GAC 800 so I I called Sarah Taylor and asked her if she uses water in her color arts and she does and she said it's fine so I'm going to bring in some more of the teal zircon. So here's my thick teal zircon, which actually you could use this for a pour. Um, like a, it's really super thick. There's no Floetrol in there. So if you want, I guess you could put Floetrol in it. I just don't like to. So there we go. And I'm going to add a little water. I did do some test tiles up with these colors to yeah. look really cool. It's pretty thick. But it is reacting, so that's good. All right, now I'm gonna use my mouth. I have a funny feeling I'm going to be using my mouth tomorrow when I do this. This is the, um, where do I want to put this? Right there. It's the Golden Miner. Hey guys, well, oh geez Louise, can you see Mr. Moth already? Shelly, oh jeez, come on, get away. Oh, 
he's down my top. I cannot believe it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. My life is a cartoon and I am the star. Um, this turned out spectacularly. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I added the gold accents, the ore afterwards. And I almost wish I had put it in the pour, but I wasn't sure if it would show up really well. But I mean, oh, look at that blending. You can see like tiny shadow pearls coming up underneath. I love it. I hope the big one turns out as good. This one, I tried to, I, there must be too much white paint around it. And I tried to suck some of it out with a pipette, but nope. Um, anyhow, that's kind of cool up there. That um, Monarch golden monarch that's that right there it's beautiful just loving this hope it dries well and then these little pearls down here I blew a lot of this out several times because I wanted the color to come through and you can do that any time too like right there there's probably a lot of color under there and you can blow it but I kind of like that it's um peeking through as um that ore, jeez please. Um, peeking through as a uh, blended color. So pretty darn happy. I gotta go fish a moth out of my bra. Anyhow, please be safe and create. Please like, share, and sub subscribe. Ciao for now. And please, um, I still have um, availability for weekends with art lessons here in Florida, sunny Florida. I'm right next to the Fort Lauderdale Airport and right next to Daniel Beach. So anyhow, talk to you soon. Ciao for now.